Hey, this is Brian from DisableMyCable.com, and today I'll be ranking the five most popular digital video recorders, DVRs, for broadcast TV, so that you can buy the one that works best for your situation. Now, before we, we begin, let me say that I won't be talking about the Amazon Fire TV recast, since that has been discontinued. And just note, these DVRs do not record from streaming services like Netflix. They only record from a broadcast TV antenna. And if you do have a broadcast TV antenna, I would highly recommend getting one of these boxes because they do a lot more than just record TV. I have a whole other article on the benefits of these boxes. Again, check the link below for why I think everyone who watches TV using an antenna should get one of these. Okay, let's begin. Coming in at number five are the uh, what I call the generic DVR converter boxes. So I have one here. Uh, it's from uh, MediaSonic. It's called Homeworks. These are these come in various uh, brands that are not well known. Uh, they use uh, you know a common chipset, so the user interface is pretty similar to each other. Uh, these are very low cost, $30, maybe $40. Now, no, there's no internet or Wi-Fi required, which is another benefit if you just don't want to mess around with that. Uh, you just plug in your hard drive, plug in your antenna, then hook this up to your TV by HDMI. It's pretty simple to set up. It's hard to go wrong with these. Now, on the down, downside, the user interface is very primitive. It works, it's not bad, it's just, it's not very flashy. You're not gonna see cover artwork for movies on this thing. The channel guide is, is limited, it's only 24 hours, I believe. Uh, the remote control for these boxes is pretty bad. And the main bad thing about them is that you have to aim them right at the box in order for it to register. The buttons aren't bad, but it's, it's a pain to, to, to aim the remote and it can be kind of cumbersome. Uh, again, you have to hook these boxes directly up to your TV via HDMI. You can't have this somewhere else like you can with the other DVRs. But the picture quality is good, the price is low, and uh, if you know exactly what you want to record and you don't want a lot of fuss, you know, these may be the right box for you if you don't want to spend a lot of money. Let's say you just want to record Monday Night Football, you know exactly what time it is, you're not really looking to discover more things to record. This, these boxes may not be bad. They're, they're very uh, bare bones, but they get the job done. As an added benefit, you can uh, take the hard drive and unplug it from this box and plug it into your computer, and your computer will recognize your recording. So that is kind of a, a benefit that the other, a lot of the other DVRs don't have. You can kind of share recordings uh, with your computer and download them to your computer. So that's kind of cool. But these are really um, the, the low end, uh, very few bells and whistles. Uh, the user interface is very primitive, but it still might have a place for some people. All right, coming in at number four in my list of best DVRs is the TiVo Edge 4 Antenna DVR. Now TiVo is known for great DVRs for uh, cable TV. This is their DVR for broadcast TV. Now it's got a great tuner, it brings in a lot of channels. Uh, it's got a great user interface, which TiVo is, has always been known for uh, its great user interface. It's got a, a really a nice remote control, works really well. Everything is placed intelligently. It's, uh, the commercial skip works really well when it's available on shows that have it. Not all shows have it, but it works well when it's available. Voice search also works really well. So again, it's, it's, TiVo has that, that great user interface from years of refinement uh, in their other DVRs for cable TV. Uh, the, the edge for antenna has Wi-Fi, so you don't have to run Ethernet cable to this box. And it's got good picture quality. Now, there are some major caveats with this box, which is why I didn't rank higher. First of all, like the uh, previous boxes I've uh, talked about, it does need to be hooked up directly to your TV by HDMI. It only comes with two tuners. 
Uh, there is no Roku app, so it's not really easy to watch on multiple TVs. Uh, the channel guide does have a fee. Now you can do a lifetime buy on that channel guide, but it's pretty expensive. Um, and when you do look at the user interface and upcoming uh, shows, there are streaming uh, channels mixed in, paid streaming channels mixed in. So it's kind of hard to find new broadcast TV shows and movies to record because so much paid content is mixed in. It's pretty big and bulky and um, it's not great for watching uh, recordings outside your home because I found that uh, some of the recordings just would not play outside of my home network. So it's not really good for watching on other TVs. It's not really good for watching outside your home. It's good if you want to watch on one TV but uh, that's so it's better, you know, has a, a nicer interface than the cheaper DVRs, but it's also a lot more expensive. This is the most expensive DVR that I'm uh, reviewing. It does have the hard drive included, um, but it's still, it's even accounting for that, it's very expensive. And just not being able to watch outside your home is kind of a big minus for me, I think, and for a lot of people. And the fact that it has to be hooked directly to your TV is something that's constraining. But if you only have one TV and you are a big fan of TiVo, then you know, go for it. It's, it's, a, it's a good box. It has, uh, the, the user interface is good, like I said. Okay, next on my list at number three are the Silicon Dust HD Home Run DVRs, namely the Flex and Scribe DVRs. I have a Flex right here, and it requires an external USB hard drive the Scribe has an internal hard drive. Now, I really like these uh, DVRs, and they're pretty popular amongst the more hobbyist, enthusiast, computer geeky type of people because uh, Silicon Dust has a history of making uh, recording and tune tuner products that uh, require network attached, attached storage or that require that your computer be on all the time and you can use different software. You don't have to use their software to do the recording. So it has kind of a geeky appeal. Like if you go on the, the forums or the Facebook groups where they're really into video, a lot of people love the HD Home Run boxes because they, they can do some uh, things like that, like use their own software or use Plex with it instead of the included software. So it has that appeal. Now, for a long time, I, I really didn't recommend these boxes because they were a little bit harder to use, but the Flex and the Scribe are pretty easy to use with a few caveats. So I do uh, have them on my list because they, there's, there's some good things about these boxes. First of all, uh, the user interface I really like. It gives you a grid of upcoming TV shows, movies, and sporting events that do not show any paid content. So you just see a grid of upcoming movies, for example, and it's a great way to discover new content. I love that feature in this box. This has a great tuner, it brings in a lot of channels, and the tuner part of this was really easy to set up. It was basically plug and play. I uh, hooked it up, hooked up my antenna, my hard drive, my ethernet, and uh, visited a website and basically I just had live TV showing up. It actually did the channel scan in the background so I didn't even have to do a channel uh, search which was kind of cool. Now there are a few caveats with this uh, actually quite a few and some of them may be showstoppers for some of you. The first that is that it does require an Ethernet connection. There is no Wi-Fi option for this. For some of you that's fine. I know a lot of people like to use Ethernet and don't want to use Wi-Fi for their DVRs. So if you're that type of person, this is not a problem. But if you're like me and you want to put this DVR near your antenna and not near my router, then uh, this is not the DVR for you. And it, okay, another, another con is that it does have a recurring fee for the channel guide. It's $35 a year as of this video recording. So that is something you'll have to consider in the cost. I think it's worth it for the nice channel guide showing the upcoming events with, with no ads mixed in, but that is a cost. 
Now I mentioned it was very easy to set up the tuner part. The DVR part was a lot harder to set up because it came with virtually no information, no documentation on how to set up the DVR. I had to basically Google for it online and I had to figure out how to purchase the annual subscription. You get an email with a code, you enter that code in a certain web page that you visit and that enables the DVR. Once it's set up, it's very easy to use. I really like it actually, but it was really hard to set up. And if they would just include a sheet of paper that said, go to this website and here's how to set up the DVR, that would have solved 90% of the problem, but they didn't do that as of th this recording, or at least the unit I got that had no such information. So that's something they could improve a lot. Another big caveat with this DVR is that you can't watch your recordings away from your home network. You can only watch recordings at home. That's a huge issue. Obviously, uh, if you travel and you want to watch your recordings on the road, this is not the box for you. But if you're a little bit more geeky, you want to experiment with using different recording software like Plex, um, this could be really cool. I love how small it is and it does work great once you get it set up. Okay, coming in at number two are the Tableau line of DVRs. Now, these DVRs used to be my number one pick, but they got rid of the lifetime deal for the channel guide fees. Now you have to pay annually for the channel guide. And I think it's, a, it's still a good deal, but it adds a lot to the cost of this product. And if you really hate fees, that could be a showstopper, unless you wanna go with um, a much more limited channel guide. I think the channel guide is worth it because like the HD Home Run, it gives you a grid of upcoming movies, TV shows, and sporting events without ads and without streaming services. And I personally have discovered a lot of great things to record, especially old movies and some not that old movies that I never would have found if I didn't have this display. So that is definitely worth something and it really enhances the value of these DVRs. So you're not just recording things that you know that you want to record, you're actually finding new content that, that you can record. The, the Tableau also has Wi-Fi and it has a great Roku app. So you can actually put this uh, near your antenna, no matter where your antenna is. You could put this in your attic if you want. It doesn't need to be near your TV. It doesn't need to be near your router. And it's a great way to not have to run coax cable to five different key TVs in your home. Just put this in your attic near your antenna and use uh, the Tableau app on your Roku to watch live TV and watch your recordings. So it's almost like a wireless antenna interface for all your TVs, a whole home interface for all, all your TVs. It's not just a DVR. You can also watch your recordings and live TV away from home, which is a great feature. And it's pretty easy to set up and use. Now, I've already mentioned the main con, which is the uh, no lifetime deal for the channel guide or the channel guide fees. All right, that is a biggie and that could be a showstopper for one, some people. The other downside of the Tableau is that out of the DVRs that I've tested, it had the worst tuner. It wasn't able to bring in some of the channels that I normally watch like all the other DVRs would. Now it still has a good tuner. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just not as good as the other tuners in, in the DVRs that I've tested, which is too bad because there is, uh, there is one channel that I really like and I wasn't able to get it on the Tableau. So that was kind of a bummer for me, but I, th I still think the Tableau is a great uh, DVR. It's easy to use. A lot of people use it. Uh, Tableau isn't going anywhere. They're not making other products. They're, they just specialize in DVR. So they are dedicated to this product and I believe it's gonna be around. So it's a definitely a solid choice and which is why it's my number two pick for the best broadcast TV DVR. Okay, now on to my pick for the number one best broadcast TV DVR. And my pick is the Air TV. This comes in two flavors, Air TV 2 and Air TV Anywhere. Air TV 2 requires a USB hard drive to be plugged in. Air TV Anywhere has an included two terabyte 
uh, hard drive. I love this DVR. If, if, you're, if you like the Amazon Fire TV recast, you'll like this DVR because it, it, this has a really slick user interface. Kind of reminds me of the recast. But the biggest thing that this has is that there, is, there are no fees for the channel guide. So if you hate fees and hate paying, and that's probably one of the reasons why you're on broadcast TV, Air TV uh, is great because it has no fees. You do have to uh, sign up for an account with Sling because that's the app that you uh, use to watch your, your recordings, but you don't have to pay for a subscription. You just gotta sign up, so that's not bad. This has a great tuner. It brought in all the channels that I watch. It has Wi-Fi, so like the Tableau, you can plug this in anywhere. Uh, you, could, you could plug it into your antenna in your attic, and this does not need to be near your TV. It doesn't need to be near your router. It does uh, allow you to watch your recordings away from home using the Sling app, and that works really well. So this is just a great over, uh, all around uh, DVR. It, it, it checks off a lot of the boxes that I was looking for. Now, it's not perfect though, because it does not show the nice grid of upcoming movies and TV shows like the Tableau uh, recorders do. Uh, it, it has a grid, but it mixes in streaming services, which is probably why there's, there are no uh, fees for the uh, channel guide. It's kind of like there's ads sprinkled in. So it makes it harder to discover new things to record or uh, old movies that are on at 2 a.m. They're harder to discover with the Air TV DVRs. If you want to do that, I would recommend the Tableau. But if you don't want fees, this is really a great DVR. It was easy to set up. It's easy to use. You can watch your recordings away from home. It's got a lot to like about it, and it worked really well during my testing. All right, so that's my rundown of the five most popular DVRs. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video was helpful for you. Remember to check out my site for more information, disablemycable.com, where I have reviews of all of these DVRs in much more detail. So if you have more questions, check out the links below. Please like this video and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.